I have trained and coached over 20 NBA and WNBA players. All of them think alike in one way. You need to hear what this is right now for you to understand how to unlock your ultimate potential. As an athletic performance coach, over the past several years, I have had opportunities to work with players like Denny Avdia, Amari Stoudemire, Elijah Bryant, Wayne Selden, Tiffany Mitchell, Benajah Laney, EuroLeague players, overseas players, men's and women's of all different levels, of all different skill sets. I have gotten the opportunity and dedicated time to these players off the court to really understand what they have gone through as a player to reach the levels that they have reached. All of the people that reach the highest levels worked their faces off to get there. Lots of hard work, consistency, dedication, grind, challenges, adversity, injuries, patience, gratitude. When these players that I mentioned earlier and the others that have reached the top level, when they step on the court, practice or game, scrimmage or workout, they truly believe and understand and have convinced themselves they are the best person on the court. This sounds really simple when I say it, but hear me out for a second. You know, as people, we actually have two different emotions going on at the same time. On the inside, you might be feeling one emotion, but on the outside, you might be expressing another, which is okay because we don't always necessarily want to share how we feel on the inside to the people around us. But sometimes the two can actually talk to each other. A lot of people say you need to work really, really hard at something in order to achieve success. It's not that that isn't true because all of the players that I mentioned and a lot of the players in the world work really hard at trying to reach their goal. But these players that have made it to the NBA and to the WNBA have a mindset that is extremely hard to come across. Some might call it overly confident, some might call it cocky. One of my favorite music artists, Russ, talks about this concept of delusional confidence. That's right, all of the players that I mentioned to you are delusionally confident about their own game. That doesn't mean that when they're playing, they're bad-mouthing every person around them, they're putting people down, or that they're making it clear that they're not humble at all. I've actually found it to be sort of the opposite. On the inside, they think like a beast. They think they're the best. You have zero percent chance at beating them and they will compete until they walk away with the win. But on the outside, their game speaks for itself. And that concept I mentioned before by Russ, delusional confidence, is the answer here. No matter what your biggest fans in the world say, whether it is your media family, your friends, the people in the fan section, think about your game and how good you may or may not be. If you are not your number one fan and you don't have delusional confidence in yourself, other people's opinions won't weigh as much. Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, used to call it supreme confidence. When you enter the state of mind that you become a to everything around you and that nothing can take you off your rhythm. Well, when you spend time around a bunch of people who all think this way, what I'm witnessing is greatness. And it doesn't come across in their day-to-day -day and how they speak to you as a person. But when they lace their shoes, they throw that jersey on and it's time to check up and the lights are on, it's time to work. I didn't play in the NBA. In fact, that was my dream when I was growing up. And when I realized where I fit in in reality in terms of athletic ability and skill set and genetics, I understood that it wasn't really my calling. But that wasn't ever gonna stop me from working really hard. And believe me, I worked really hard. I have trained with NBA players, WNBA players, overseas players, but the one thing that I never really trained enough was this mindset that I'm sharing with you. I see it on a day-to-day -day basis and it is as clear as day. The mindset that you have, that you think that you are the best, that you believe that you are the best, that you are confident in your ability is a skill that you need to train just like anything else. It's a muscle. You don't just wake up in the morning and suddenly you think you're the best and suddenly you are the most confident person in the world. But until you get into a habit of being able to tell yourself that while understanding that there is always more to improve on, you won't start to create that consistency. These players in the NBA, these players in the WNBA are extremely habitual. They're creatures of habit. The second that they wake up in the morning, it's go time. And when it's go time, it's time to compete. Yes, this isn't just going to come overnight or over a week, or over a year. People are all trying to get to the same place you are. The NBA, the WNBA, maybe it's a college scholarship, maybe it's playing overseas. Whatever the case is, every time that you have an opportunity to step onto the court, to lace up your shoes, when the lights go on, you have to think that you're the best. This inner beast, this demeanor, this swag that you're able to deploy, it's contagious. Spending time around these athletes, getting to know them on and off the court has instilled confidence in myself because when you see this mental state of mind run like clockwork, it makes you start to evaluate things about your own life. I didn't go to the NBA. It was my dream and I understand that that wasn't my calling. But this tenacious mindset, this grittiness that they deployed and the delusional confidence that these players have on a day-to-day -day basis is 100% one of the reasons why they made it to the place that they did. Of course, to some degree, depending on the person, there might be some God-given talent and that's just how life works. Every single one of them have worked their face off. It's important that I repeat that. Because you can't just have one or the other. You can't just say, I'm gonna believe I'm the best and be really confident and not put in any of the work. But you also can't work as hard as you can and not believe in yourself. This is actually something that I wish, looking back, 
I started to understand more at an early age. I'm 28 years old and I've spent time around people who have made it to the highest peaks of basketball in the world. And if there's one mindset shift that I can motivate you to do, it is exactly this. Spend time around people who believe in you. Spend time around positive energy. Spend time around people who work hard. You will become a product of the environment that you place yourself in. And when you place yourself around other people who want to get to where you want to get to, but make you compete and you make them compete, all you're doing is creating a synergy of greatness. These people are great. These people work hard. These people believe they're the best. If you do that, you will reach your potential.